This is Chris Whalen, CPA, and welcome to the Street Level Business Podcast. This podcast analyzes income tax and business issues at the street level for families and business owners. Today's topic relates to the Trump tax reform, specifically that the tax treatment of alimony is about to change dramatically. For those of you who are not aware, traditionally, when alimony is paid, the person paying it gets to deduct it on their tax returns. This gives them a tax break. The recipient of that alimony has to include that as income on their tax return, and so that alimony gives them a tax bill to pay. Alimony, in some form, has been in place for thousands of years. Today, because alimony is tax deductible by the payer and included in the recipient's income, this net after-tax impact has to be considered on both parties when calculating the financial portion of divorce settlements. It is critical to note that the payer of alimony is quite often in a higher tax bracket than the recipient. This comes into play when I discuss how the rules are changing and how alimony negotiations must be scrutinized more than ever. Take a look at your screen. In this example, someone is paying alimony in the amount of $10,000. Let's assume that person is in a 30% tax bracket. The current law states that person can deduct that $10,000 on their tax return This would give them a $3,000 or 30% tax break. So their net out-of-pocket is $7,000, $10,000 of alimony minus the $3,000 tax break. Now let's look at the recipient. The recipient needs to include the $10,000 of alimony in their income and pay tax on that. Let's say they are in the 15% bracket. This means they'll pay $1,500 in tax and will net $8,500 which of course is 10,000 minus 1,500. That's very simple. So the IRS is technically losing money on this deal. Here's how. They're giving $3,000 to the payer of the alimony and they're only getting back $1,500 from the recipient of the alimony in terms of their taxes paid. Now, how has tax reform changed the treatment of alimony? Well, for divorces that are finalized after 2018, meaning starting January 1st, 2019, alimony is no longer deductible by the payer and no longer included as income by the recipient. This is a dramatic change to the family law system. I can't stress enough how large a change this is. I believe the ramifications will be far-reaching. You might ask, well, what would the difference be now? If the payer can't deduct it any longer and the recipient doesn't have to pick it up as income, that sounds like a wash, right? Well, not necessarily. Let me go back to our example where there are different tax brackets involved. Now let's remember that the calculation of alimony today considers that net tax impact. First, we must remember what the true cost is of that $10,000 of alimony where the payer is in the 30% bracket. That is $7,000 after tax. For purposes of child support and other calculations, this net after tax number is very significant most of the time. Now, conversely, the net after-tax alimony income for the recipient is also very important. Going back to my example, the recipient of alimony was actually netting $8,500 in their pocket because they were in a 15% bracket. But let's look at the new law and how this might impact things where the alimony is no longer deductible and is no longer includable by either party. So let's go back to our $10,000 example. After 2018, There's no way that the payer of alimony is going to agree now to pay $10,000 because they no longer can get a tax break. As we know, prior to this change, they were netting $7,000 out of pocket after taxes. Now they won't be able to afford $10,000. So that would mean negotiating the alimony down to the traditional net after tax effect, in this case, $7,000. Well, that would not work for the recipient, right? because their net after-tax income would have been $8,500. Alimony is meant to make someone financially whole, and it serves a great purpose. For example, a spouse may have stayed home with children and put their career aside where the other spouse did not. So the financial impact on the recipient must always be considered first. In most cases, we need to calculate what the net amount of alimony the recipient of the alimony should be receiving. So in this example, The recipient of the alimony would want to fight for the $8,500 and never agree to the $7,000. 
Of course, this podcast has attempted to take a complex situation with many moving parts and simplify it. To summarize today's podcast, the rules related to the tax treatment of alimony are changing starting January 1st, 2019. Divorces settled prior to that date and their related alimony are not impacted. The net financial impact of alimony on all parties needs to be analyzed more than ever for equity. If you are going through a divorce right now, timing is everything. Will it be settled by the end of 2018? Your financial negotiations may need to change if not. I can easily see mistakes being made which slights either the payer or the recipient of alimony. It may take accountants and attorneys many years to understand these changes. That is why it is more important than ever to hire a seasoned CPA to represent the tax and financial interests of you, your family, and your business. A divorce is one of the most significant financial agreements you will enter into in your life. Don't leave it to chance. Hire the best attorney, but realize they are not tax and financial experts. I urge all of my colleagues involved in divorce negotiations, lawyers, mediators, etc., to reach out to me to discuss how these tax changes will impact their work from now on. Right now, there are software programs that lawyers use to calculate alimony and child support between the parties, but I believe these will have to be changed to accommodate this traumatic change to the law. Are you in a divorce case right now? Does it involve alimony? Will it be finalized in 2018? You need to consider these tax changes in your negotiations. My firm specializes in family law accounting and we work on the full gamut of cases from friendly collaborative divorces to the most extreme contentious ones. Do you have questions or want to schedule a consultation? Please call me on 732 732- 673-0510. You can also learn more about my firm by visiting my website, which you should see at the bottom of your screen, which is chriswhalencpa.com. Thank you so much for listening today, and I look forward to talking with you and meeting with you in the near future.